So, hiya folks. Well, White Rot. Now I've just done a little bit of research. I'm not going to go, hello and welcome to another exciting episode of South Pole Davy where I've perjured stuff and mixed things up and give you bad information. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to get information what I've just what I've just read. Now, I wouldn't have known I had White Rot until I watched Nick's video this morning. Oh, but I would know I had some problems because I got 50 I got only half onions I expected to get. And because Nick mentioned that on his, and I were obviously pulling some onions out which were rotten, and some were really bad. So I'm going to try and give you some information, what I found out, what I've just searched on internet, which you can do yourself. I'll put some links underneath articles out, some articles I've read, or the main one, what I've read, and uh, hopefully it helps you. Because what I found out after doing a search on white rot is that it will stay in the ground for up to 20 years. That's a long time, isn't it? It's not going to work in my four-year cycle, is it? So, but there is hope. There's no cure, but there is hope. Now, one of the articles I've read, or a couple of articles I've read, have talked about um, putting a clove of garlic in 10 litres of water, mashing it up, obviously, and steeping it, and then pouring that onto your beds, yeah? And they're saying about 10 litres for every... Uh, Two square meters or something like that so you know you're going to go quite heavy with that but an alternate to that is um garlic powder now it seems counterintuitive that you're putting garlic powder on to cure a thing that's likes eating garlic because this stuff particularly likes garlic but it's all your alliums including leeks that it, that it attacks <clears throat> now the idea with the garlic powder is the year before so next spring when it's between 15 and 18 degrees cent uh, centigrade that's the ideal time temperature right you put the garlic powder into the bed but you don't plant your onions in that bed that year because what happens is the chemicals in the garlic powder activate the spore from the um, the white rot and white rot stays in for 20 years because it's it it not only puts a little white fuzzy um, mycelium out on your onion but it makes like a small seed, it looks like a small seed, like almost like a poppy seed, yeah? And that's what drops off and stays in your ground. So what you, that'll stay there for up to 20 years, it says. So the idea with the, 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 the powder, the garlic powder is that you, you got, you're gonna spread garlic powder on, rake it in. Now that will activate the spores that are waiting for you to plant onions, yeah? But there are no onions. You can plant corn in there, you can plant brassicas in there, but don't plant onions in there because you've activated the stuff and it spreads out and then dies because it's got nothing to feed on. It's got no host plant. And that is the idea of it. Now, I've read some articles and I've read some um, letters and people are saying it's worked for them to a point where they were losing 50% of the stuff and they're only losing like 1%, 10%. So apparently it works i was reading articles back from 2015 all the way up to now so apparently it works so i don't know if that'll help anybody but what i will be doing next year is garlic powder all over my beds I can, i'll just get some garlic powder and spread it in my beds and rake it in in spring the bed that i'm going to plant in next year it's too late to do that now i won't be putting any garlic powder in it but i will be putting my onions onions in it and hopefully i'll get a crop hopefully that bed's not infected Last, the last year's bed wasn't infected I got a really good crop so I don't know what to say if that helps anybody I'll put the link in to the article I've read underneath read the comments below the link they, they go from 2016 I think all the way up to quite recent 2017 oh, uh, there's a year at least and there's, there's some interesting results in it but as I say I didn't know about it until just until I saw Nick's and now I've found that I've got it, I want to try and keep it under control. There is no cure. There are no chemical cures, there's nothing, but the garlic powder seems to work because, as I say, it makes it come out and then it dies because there's nothing for it to feed on. And anyway, I hope that helped. It's nice to be nice. And before I go, they're the affected onions. There's probably about 20 onions in there. And there's, as I say, I lost 50% they were, they were over 100 planted so they were all just rotted away to nothing I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the onions that I've got they might not cure uh, they might start to rot so if I'm, I'm gonna keep my eye on them and if they do you can cut them up and freeze them 
the rest of the onions. So that might be my only option with the onions, but we will see. With these, I'm going to burn them. They're going on the old incinerator. That's the only thing you can do with them. 